I'm just going to do a brief introduction into cloth, how to just play with cloth and I'm going to look at the cloth belt in a very uh, simple way. So I'm just going to create a plane here and if I go to the plane, uh, there's lots of Cinema 4D tags obviously, if I go to a simulation I can add a cloth tag, simple as that. And if I hit play nothing happens. Um, if we go into the forces we can see gravity is applied. Uh, the thing with cloth is we have to work with um, editable objects, so I'm just going to click this button, it makes the object editable. And if I hit play it falls down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a sphere object just so there's something it can collide with. And the sphere, I'm going to add a tag, simulation tags, cloth collider. And it's a pretty simple tag, as you can see, it's got bounce and friction. And if I play this back, it collides. So it's very, very simple, quite powerful as well. And under cloth, we basically have lots of settings. Um, we've got forces here. We've got uh, cloth properties here, like bounce, friction, mass. Uh, personally, I like kind of low bounce and quite high friction. Depends on the project, of course. Dresser, I'll get into this in another tutorial. Um, cache, to basically uh, save all the point data into one anim baked animation. Experts got kind of um, mainly processing options. So we can also add wind without, we can also add wind here, but cloth has its own forces as well. Now I'm just going to quickly uh, demonstrate the cloth collider, sorry, the cloth belt. And we use a cloth belt when we want to attach, um, imagine you want to pin this kind of sheet in these two corners here and that's what we would use a cloth belt for so it's pretty simple to use as well and we need like a object we can belt onto so I'm just going to create a quick cube and um, I'm just going to scale it down put it in the top left corner here so this is going to be an object we're going to attach this corner to so I'm just going to go to the plane and I'm actually going to go into vertex mode and I'm going to select this vertex here. Then I'm going to go to objects, sorry, tags, simulation, cloth belt. I'm going to drag and drop the little cube I created. Then I'm going to hit set. And as you can see, a little yellow line is now linking from that vertex to my uh, kind of pin object, if you will. And um, if I hit play now, as you can see, it's kind of attached to my little cube, which is pretty cool. And I can actually move this around in real time. Uh, another cool trick is um, if I go to this plane, I can actually add it, put it into a hypernerbs. So I've got like more detail on my mesh, even though it's not carrying out more calculations, there's still like more detail in the material, so it looks kind of a bit more realistic. This is quite a nifty little trick. Uh, I'm just going to go to Gorad shading. Cinema 4D has got a great cloth engine, it's just so simple to use. Uh, so I'm just going to go to Hypernerves, just switch it off briefly, go to my plane. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this cube hold control and drag. I'll call this cube 2. I'm just going to move it along. I'm going to pin this point as well. So I'm just going to go into point mode here, select that ver vertex and then um, I think I can add another cloth belt, go to simulation tags, cloth belt again, belt on cube 2, set. As you can see another uh, yellow line is being created and if I play that back, now it's attached to two points. So you can use uh, multiple cloth belts, different objects. Now I can just basically uh, get rid of the sphere maybe, show you what happens. <laughs> get rid of that out of the way. 
and we've got like a kind of piece of drying uh, laundry now like an apron blowing in the wind uh, I'll just show you the forces quickly um, we've got wind direction X so I think Z is this direction so I'll put some wind in Z just to show you and as you can see it's kind of blowing in the wind oh strength so I just have to give it some strength there you go it's kind of now it's blowing in the wind so yeah, very easy to use, very easy to attach to other objects. It kind of seems like it's slightly elastic, so we might want to um, go to the forces and we've got stiffness, flexion, bounce, mass, stiffness, hundred should actually be yeah, flexion is the culprit definitely. Maybe rubber might stiffen it up slightly. Nope, made it worse. Happened. Zero stiffness. <laughs> Just goes ape shit. Ninety. Yeah, and it's quite easy to kind of. As soon as you stray from those default options, it gets pretty tricky. But um, I mean, you don't have that many options, so. So actually, sometimes increasing the iterations gives you like a more realistic simulation. Like right now, yeah, that seems a lot tighter. So basically, I think it needed a few more calculation iterations. I might give these values a bit more. Uh, and then maybe the mass. We can play with this. Turn the turn the nerves back on. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that's just a brief look at cloth and the cloth belt to get started. Wind's a bit aggressive, so I'm just gonna turn it down. So I hope that kind of uh, showed you how easy it is to use cloth in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching.